What's up? It's your boy Aaron Page. I'm back with another video for y'all today. Do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell for the YouTube algorithm. Let's jump right into this video right now. Absolutely. If God, yeah, that's true. If God, needs help, God doesn't need anything. Uh, can I first ask you a question again? So the word needs condones that he couldn't have picked a different way. This is the way that God chose. He doesn't, he doesn't, it's God's plan, but he doesn't need us. Need, meaning, oh, meaning if, if every if every evangelist stopped preaching, the Bible says the rocks, he'll, he'll raise up rocks. That's what God says. Amen. If no one, if no one serves God, God said he can raise up rocks. So he doesn't need us. He, he's, just, he's just doing it because he loves us. No, no, no. Let's say in a hypothetical situation, right? God loses all his power. Would you stop worshiping? Because he wouldn't be God. Wow, that's why. Wow. So, so one of the attributes exactly. of God is all powerful. So that's it. One of one of one of one of the one of the uh, So I've answered your question. So I don't I don't know why you're not accepting. Why would God be not powerful? That's the whole reason he's God. He's all powerful. My answer. I said I love God. I love him. I love him more than my daughter. I love him more than anybody. I love him more than my mom, more than my dad. Yeah, I love God because God, God gave me my child. Without a child, I, God gave me. Matter of fact, everything, the Bible says all good and perfect gifts goes from God. So every time you're happy, that's God showing you mercy and giving you Amen. Faith. He says he calls it the rain on the just and the unjust. So God loves you too. The Bible says while we were sinners, God died for us. The Bible says God loves everyone. And Jesus loves us so much that he, he went to the cross for us. And that's why I love him. If you, if you understand, if you really believed in hell and you understood what Jesus did for you, you would love him too, like I love him. Exactly. Okay, question one. Say, question one. Say, all my life I've been doing what God wants. I've been doing terrible things. I've been a good person, but I don't follow Christ. Am I going to hell for that? So you're not a good person. Because, uh, let me ask you a question. I know you're next. I hear you. Um, have you ever lied? Yeah, I'm sure we all lie. Do good people lie? Yes. <laughs> no. So, so good is the absence of bad. Why everybody say yes? What? You can't have anything bad. Good almost means perfect. That's why. That's why when they ask Jesus, um, um, why do you call me good teacher? Only God is good. So the mo the moment you do something that's not good, you're no longer good because now I can say, hey, you're a liar. Have you ever Have you ever had sex outside of marriage? That that that's that's a terrible thing too. So. You can see uh, what, he, he, what he was referring to in the Bible. It said uh, they called him good teacher. And then Jesus says, why do you call me good? Only one that's good is God, right? Jesus is not saying that he's not good because we, we know that Jesus never sinned. He is. But they always called the teachers good because the teachers follow the law. But really, the teachers are just like everyone else. They're all, we're all sinners, right? So that's what he was referring to. Like nobody's good on this earth. Even all the teachers, only one that's good is God, which is also Jesus Christ. So, because you're, you're well, first of all, because you're you're using another woman for her body. If you're not going to settle down with that woman, if you're not going to support that woman, if you're not going to take that woman, marry her, and show her how show her uh, how special and she is to you. But if you're just going to use her for that's how it should her, be her, her name at all times. They go on to the next name, name, and they go on to the next name, name. But who just, God, God decides that. So why? So say so. God says that's wrong. But why is God, God, God says that's wrong, yes. So why is, the God real? why is God real? Because you're here. The, the proof of existence is, uh, is the proof of God. How did you get here? Through my mother. Hey, that's, that's a real quick, look at how beautiful that sky is behind them. There's only one person, not even person. There's only one thing that could create something so beautiful. And that's, it got to be God. It has to be. That's not, nature didn't create that by itself. Look at that sky. That's a childish answer. You understand what I mean? How did mankind get here? How did human beings get here? Uh, my mother had did it with my dad, and that's why I'm here. Okay, how did human beings get here? How did the first human being get here? How did the first human come here? Through years of, millions of years of evolution. Yeah, so evolution is a lie. Um, there, we, it's never been observed. You can't test it. Um, and so nothing in the, in the history of life, nothing can't create something. So you're saying nothing created the stars, nothing created the moon, nothing created the eyes, nothing created love. But, uh, there's so much order to the world. Just, just, just your heart pumping. Your heart doesn't pump. You don't, you don't say pump heart, pump heart. It does it on its own. There's so many things that that, that in in creation that have so much order to them. They, 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 the Bible calls you a fool if you uh, reject that. There's the fact that there's a God. 
Amen. Jesus. So why is your Bible real? So why why is the Bible the source of all truth? Then? Okay, the, the Bible is the is the only book that that said two thousand years ago, four or five thousand years ago, things are going to happen, and they're happening now. And it happened. So, okay. But you're saying, but okay, so like Paul well, says, Bible is the word of God. Yeah? So why so why does it, is God real? Then? What do you mean? I just explained why God is real. Every time you look at the every time you look at the moon, every time you look at the stars, the Bible says that the, yeah, absolutely. That's what that's what God says. God says that um, the attributes of God are written in creation, so you're without excuse. So so how did the sun get there? Ask yourself that. That's what you have to ask. How did the sun get there? Why do we love people? Why do we have emotions? Why are we different from animals? No, no. What I'm trying to say is, the Bible says is the Bible is the word of God, but God. But God is why the Bible is there. So don't you see that that's a little bit of circular reasoning? What's wrong with circular reason? We, we circle reason in every, in every aspect of life. Okay, let me give you an example. Say one day I came home, and my mom tells me, go do my homework, and then clean my room, and then go run some errands. Five minutes later, she finds me on a couch reading comic books. So she asks me, didn't I ask you to do the homework and run some errands? So she tell, asked me, so why didn't I do my homework? So I tell her, I'm going to, after I clean my room. So when are you cleaning your room? After running some errands. So when are you running some errands? After I do my homework. So, so No, that's called lazy. <laughs> that's not that's not the that's not how you describe the comparison between the Bible and God. God wanted the Bible to be created so that we have something to go off of to remember him, other than the creations that we see and other than looking at ourselves. We have the Bible to refer to. We have the Bible for instruction. He's just lazy. <laughs> if you do all that, if you call off cleaning your room, going to run it, you're just lazy. Total difference. Come on, man. So what you're doing is, is being disrespectful to your mom because she exactly. told you to do something you didn't do it, and now you're you're using circular reason to to get out to get out of something she told you to do. Let me ask you a question: Why 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 is it wrong to why is it wrong not to listen? Or why, is it right or wrong to listen to your mom? This is nothing not being disrespectful. This is this is just if your mom tells you to do something, you don't do it and you start making excuses, that's disrespectful. Let me ask you a question. Is, is that wrong? But you're shifting the but you're shifting No, I've told you circular I've said there's nothing wrong with circular argumentation. There's nothing uh, yeah, wrong with that. Because it's not going anywhere. Says who? Says logic. Okay, what do you mean? Okay. Do, do, do science is, is science is science circular reason? No, I'm not reason the Does science use circular reason? No. It doesn't? So what, what created the Big Bang? That's not relevant right now. Yes, it is. Wow. It, 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 it's going gonna, it's gonna to go. It's irrelevant now, huh? The go-to is like, we don't know what created the Big Bang. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, is, 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 is it wrong? Is it wrong to not listen to your mom? You are shifting from the That's not what I'm No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You, I, don't, I, don't think you're, I don't think you're grasping what I'm saying. Are you, are you, is it wrong not to listen? I feel like people just think of arguments in their head while they're sitting here watching him argue with someone else. They're like, oh, what can I say that's going to trip him up? Just like they did Jesus. And then they end up getting tripped up themselves and they end up losing the battle. Because, like, everyone's popping up like, oh, no, it's mine. I feel like they, they're just finding, trying to find a perfect argument, but they keep getting it wrong. This is hilarious, man. Listen to your mom. That's my question. That's not the question I'm asking. Okay. I've, I've answered your question, bro. Uh, so, okay. I disagree. Uh, what's your opinion on pronouns? What pronouns? Any and all pronouns. What do you mean? Pronouns are a lot of things. Like Christian is a pronoun. I like I, I like I like being a Christian. Christian is a proper noun. Not a pronoun. Man is a pronoun. Human is a pronoun. Human is a noun. What do you think my pronouns are? What do you mean? What do you think my pronouns are? What do I think your pronouns are? Think your pronouns are? So in in what um in what context? Okay, in, so in what context? So don't you a question. I'm asking you a question. In what context? Put it in context. By what do you mean by pronouns? Your preferred pronouns. My preferred pronouns. Do you what do you think my pronouns are? What do you mean? What does that even mean? Use your brain. You're a woman. Incorrect. She's a, a disrespectful brat. Use your brain? Seriously? He's trying to get you to say, am I a he, she, her, whatever. That's pronoun, right? He's trying to get her to say that, and she's getting disrespectful. Come on, man. She looks like a kid, too. But I can see why she's disrespectful, because she don't believe in God. She don't have the morals and ethics that comes from our beautiful creator. Okay, you, if you were, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to educate you. 
If you were biologically born with women parts, you're a woman. I'm, I'm being educated about my gender identity. You don't. So gender identity is a, is a lie. It's false. Um, there's only two genders: a man and a woman. That's true. And, you know, let me ask you a question. How, how, how many gender identities are there in nature? How, how many how many genders are in a lion? Goodness. No, because look, if it's natural, it should be in nature. So let me ask you a question. How many genders do a lion have? How many genders do a monkey have? How many genders do a zebra have? How come human Two. beings, if this was true and it's natural, how come human beings are the only one with gender fluidity? Because it's not true. Exactly. Do horses have multiple genders? No. <laughs> only only person, only reason why we have, why people say they have multiple genders because they have reason. Can we just take a quick second and just... Give this man his applause real quick. He is always on top of his game when it comes to this stuff, man. He is one of the greatest. He is a, a monster at this, man. Give this man his props. Self to a line. If you can show me any animal that has multiple gender, genders, and this is true, but if you can't see it in nature, it's untrue. Just like there's a man and a woman in animal nature, we are the exact same thing. Our yeah. gen, um, uh, lions... Tigers and bears, they do not um, wrestle with their gender because they don't have uh, gender dysphoria. It's actually a mental illness yes. called gender dysphoria. It's actually documented in uh, the medical journals. So, question. Um, you said show something as multiple genders in nature, correct? So, funguses, they actually have a very wide variety of genders. And a lot of we comparing a fungus to a human now. Look how far they've drifted. Well, actually, we compare human beings to fungus because... So show me a non-binary fungus. Literally... Show me a two-spirit fungus. I can't say exactly. Show me a fungus that wants to be to call them they and we. Yeah. You're, 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 not, you're not making sense, bro. You're not making sense. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to tell them that, too. It's not a mammal. We're oh, my gosh. You know that there, there's dolphins. Dolphins only have two genders. Whales only have two I genders. But the thing is, is, if it was natural, we 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 see it in nature. We see it in nature. I'm out of here because literally, they're kind of like a gender. They switch sex from what to what? Man to female, or man to non-binary? Male to female, but you're also trying you're also trying to discredit just trans people as a whole. No, I'm just saying you're wrong, and you know you're wrong. Amen. Well, no, yeah. there's clownfish, there's Amen. snails, which are hermaphrodites. Frog. Humans have intersectionality. They What's are a hermaphrodite. Something that's male and female. Okay, so that's two. You're making, you're further making my point. Right, but show me something with three or four or five genders. Amen. Hermaphrodite Amen. is a type of sex where you have combined chromosomes of male and female. Of what? Male and female. That's two. Okay. Combined. <laughs> that's two. Amen. That's two, and that, that's my point. There's only two. Amen. Only two. Now, that's my point. There's only two. You, you'll never see a, a non-binary. Got her. <laughs> He just proved this point to her by her trying to come back and argue with him. Oh, man, this dude is good. A uh, non-binary zebra. <laughs> You'll never see a, a two-spirit horse. Amen. You'll never see a frog that thinks he's a, a monkey. Amen. This is a, this is a, this is dysphoria. The medical community calls this gender dysphoria. Yeah. Dysphoria um, called, uh, is drawn from the form of word of dysfunction. So that dysfunction. Means it's, it's a... Did you see how many people are sitting back listening to him? Hold on real quick. Let's just rewind this for one second. Hold on. Look how many people is watching him. Look at look at God. Look at those people back there. Look, look at God, man. Look at God. This man right here is at their event, and they are getting the word. They are literally receiving the word. There's people sitting down listening to him. Speak to these people who are arguing with him, but he's proven his point and they're listening. Wow, God is good. So that means this, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's your brain is not functioning correctly. And, and this is why you're thinking these things. My, my main question I actually came here for are you here, like, if it were up to you, would you have shut this con convention down entirely? No. No? No. And why is that? Because I believe in freedom. You have the freedom to do whatever you want to do. I have the freedom to do whatever I do. The moment you can't do it, the moment you can't, you don't have freedom. I'm sorry, I'm not complaining to you. The moment you don't have freedom to be who you are and do what you want to do is the moment I don't have freedom to preach the gospel. Wow. Man, that actually was very interesting, right? Oh, man, that was good. That was, that was one of his better ones right there. Wow. For everyone that's like, oh, man, like, 
this, like, as far as concerning my page, showing these street preachers and stuff like that, look, I show it, one, because we need to be able to see, like, the people that's out there, like, our people that's out there combating the sin, combating the people at their locations, out there waging war against these demons, waging war against this sinful world. It's good and it's fun to see, and I love seeing it. So if you don't like seeing these street preacher things like that, like, oh, well, get used to it, because I'm going to keep posting them. Uh, shout out to Dory Love again for doing a phenomenal job out there doing his work, putting in his work, man. Dude is a beast at this. I love watching his videos. He is so good. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you watching the channel. Um, if you're new, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video. My name is Aaron Page, and I'm out.